The overall goal of this procedure is to induce a mild to moderate brain injury in mice to model human traumatic brain injury. This is accomplished by first performing a craniectomy. The second step of the procedure is to attach a hub to the skull over the craniectomy site. Next, a pulse of water is delivered through the hub to induce brain injury. The final step of the procedure is to remove the hub and close the wound. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show morphological and behavioural changes at various intervals post-injury through immunofluorescence microscopy, cognitive and a hub with test. sterile saline. Attach the male Lua lock from the LFP device to the female Lua lock fitting of the hub. Place the animal on its side, and once a normal breathing pattern resumes, but prior to the animal regaining sensitivity, release the pendulum to cause a single pulse of injury. The exact pressure of the pulse should be recorded. Behavioural testing following LFP can be used to assess both cognitive and motor outcomes. The Morris water maze is used to determine effects on learning and memory. Using visual cues in the testing room, sham mice become more efficient at locating the platform with each subsequent day of training. Mice subjected to LFP take longer to locate the hidden platform on the first two days of testing relative to sham mice, but then appear to learn the task by the third day. To determine the effect of injury on memory retention, a probe trial is performed one day after the last training session. Sham mice spend more time in the target quadrant compared to the mice subjected to LFP. The motor deficits caused by LFP can be determined using the rotor rod test. Mice subjected to LFP have a shorter average latency to fall compared to the sham mice at 1, 7 and 21 days post-injury. Glial fibrillary acidic protein staining reveals increased gliosis throughout the cortex in the region of injury whereas sham mice do not display increased astrocyte numbers in the equivalent site. Similarly, MAC1 staining demonstrates more macrophages surrounding the site of injury compared to mice subjected to sham surgery. In addition, there is frequently physical damage to the cortical tissue visible in mice subjected to LFP, but not in sham mice. 